So we're going live here. It's carport. Uh, car, carport. It's car talk. It's car talk Saturday morning. And I just had the good fortune to uh, share in a breakfast with uh, more than 45 different business owners who all came together to talk about the situation in South Africa. And we're talking about people that are highly successful, highly influential. And um, the topic of discussion was obviously with this whole looting thing that's going on with the vandalism and this unacceptable behavior, this unacceptable, brutal, violent, uh, nonsensical behavior that's happening in the country, uh, the negative effects that it's having on the country, uh, how many people's uh, businesses have been really adversely affected, how many people have lost their livelihood because of a mentality of just destruction, no caring for other people, um, you know, it's, it's borderline barbaric. Um, and uh, the, 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 there were two things that we discussed that came up. Number one, you know, was it, uh, it was, is it time to actually leave South Africa this time around? I know I did a video like this a little while ago and, um, you know, there was a, there was a massive, massive following on that video. And we were talking about, you know, the, the, the situation at the time, but now we have this tangible, ugly, nasty situation. And, uh, the, 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 the general, the general discussion was three things. Number one is that all the effort, time, money that we are putting into businesses in this country can relatively easily be taken away from us because of this kind of behavior and so they were saying is it rather better just to leave is it rather better just to pack our bags go to a country where we are appreciated for our effort where we are not overtaxed because i mean the taxation in this country is really really high uh, should we go to a country where we can live safely where there's an education level you know, you know, an expansive education level that we don't have this kind of situation, this kind of stupidity, this ugliness that is happening where people just think it's okay to go and rob, you know, a, a shop or to go and steal TVs and smash things and break down things and burn down buildings. I mean, what, what era are we living in? This is madness. How can we allow this to happen? How can the government allow this to happen? And uh, we're sitting with, you know, I'm sitting with, Business people that have got savvy, they're not emotional, they are rational. They're thinking logically, they're thinking rationally, they're thinking about the future, they're thinking about their hard-earned uh, time, effort and money that they've invested into business can be taken away from us just like that if we allow, firstly, the wrong person to come into power who doesn't stop this kind of crazy behavior, plus, of course, the fact that, you know, you, you put time, effort, and money into building something that, uh, that, you know, is supposed to be able to be handed to your kids and so forth as an heirloom, but it's not going to happen. The second thing that they talked about was that, you know, the investments, are their investments safe? Now, let me tell you what rich people do. They, 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 bu they build up portfolios of, of elements, properties, etc., that makes them an income. And uh, these guys are saying that their tenants are fearing for their lives and wanting to cancel the contract. And they're saying, here we are, you know, years and years and years of accumulating properties and stuff like that. And one incident like this, everyone just starts going crazy, you know, smashing things, breaking things, burning down buildings. You know, so imagine if you had, you know, 20, 30, 50, 100. I mean, the one guy that was there this morning has 2,000 retail properties. And um, the guy is saying, you know, he's getting calls left, right and center where people are saying, we, we need to leave, we need to pull out, we need to, and, we, and the, the discussion again was, you know, is it time to just, you know, what, sell up and leave, sell up and go somewhere else? Because I mean, if you go and amass a, a property portfolio of two to three thousand buildings i mean you were a highly successful business person and a couple of you know uh, morally incorrect people come along and just smash it up stuff it up and ruin everything you've built uh they're asking the question maybe it's time just to sell up and bugger off let's go to a place where we where we know our, our assets are safe where we know you know things are going well and the third thing is that they discussed was is the amount of clients from overseas that are now pulling the plug on investments and stuff like that in their businesses. Uh, the one guy that was there, uh, he handles, you know, foreign trade investments overseas, you know, both in and out. And he said that the investments, since this uh, whole thing has happened, the investment quotient coming in has dropped by 800%. 
and the people wanting to now move their money offshore has grown by 4,000%. Now, let me tell you something. If you're in the financial world, those numbers are pretty scary. Pretty, pretty scary that 4,000% more people are thinking it is not safe to invest here. It's not safe to stay here. It's not safe to live here. And we'd rather put our money somewhere else. And so that was sort of the categories. But then there was something else that came up that was extremely, extremely industry uh, in, uh, interesting. Is that they talked about building a different type of business that, you know, that, that everyone agrees. We love living in South Africa. We love the weather. We love the fact that we've got great sport here. We've got, you know, uh, the, the infrastructure is great. I mean, you can, live in a, you can live in a big home in this country and it doesn't cost you a fraction of what it costs you overseas. You can, live, you can live a great lifestyle. It's cheap to live here. And every one of them agreed that they don't want to go. But this is what came up. They said we need to build a uh, bulletproof kind of business. We need to build a different kind of business that cannot be taken away from us, that cannot be burnt down, that cannot be stolen from, where legislation couldn't close it. They were saying that you have to go and build a business that you can, should you ever want to, you can pack your bags and you can go because your income will keep on coming in. And that was the main, I, for me, I thought that that was, that was incredibly uh, positive in the sense that they said, we still love this place. I mean, the sun is shining. It's great. Maybe you're in Cape Town, it's raining. But I'm over here in Pretoria. The sun is shining. The weather's great. Um, you know what? We don't live a bad lifestyle. And they were saying the same thing. So they were saying that what, they, what they're thinking of doing is was scaling down on local assets and increasing their time, effort, and money into businesses that uh, cannot be affected by anything. Businesses that cannot be stripped away from you. Businesses that cannot be closed down by stupidity and madness. Businesses that can grow both local and international incomes. That was the probably the most uh, exciting aspect to um, to the the breakfast because now you know I'm I'm sitting there just listening and uh, I gave them my idea. Of, you know what I'm busy doing right now, and everyone is like, "Oh my goodness, what an idea!" You know, something that is online, something that is that is um, indestructible, something that cannot be taken away, something where your your income is unlimited. And I said to them that I'm actually launching uh, next week. I'm launching a new a new idea, a new business. Uh, it's not new. I've been doing it for quite a while. I'm just opening it up. And the general consensus was, wow. And so you're either going to stay here, sell your assets, uh, you know, get rid of the the, the uncertainties. You know, um, uh, common, you're constantly reassessing, uh, you know, the danger of actually, you know, being and building a company in this economy uh, or you're moving your money offshore and you're planning to kind of pack your bags and go or you're going to redirect and go and build an entity that is power, that is strong financially, where you can build multiple incomes internationally, where you can actually be safe, where your family can be safe so you can enjoy the spoils right enjoy the spoils but have your money safely somewhere else and so this was the buzzword is uh, live local live local earn international live local earn international and so it was just one of those days you know just one of those days where that light bulb moment came on and i'm going you know what i'm so thrilled that firstly i got invited to the the breakfast that they could sit and talk about that this is what this is what the super uber uh, wealthy people are talking about and let me tell you something they're influential enough to make big things happen they're influential enough to to influence a lot of other people to make decisions and uh, like I said I'm delighted to say that it wasn't all negative there was that positive side that said we don't necessarily want to leave here we don't necessarily want to go and live somewhere else but we definitely need to build a different type of income a different type of lifestyle uh, a different type of outcome and protect ourselves from this this absolute stupidity i for one um and i watch the news i generally don't know what's going on and then suddenly i got bombarded with videos and i'm watching this and i'm saying to myself how does a normal person a person who's living a normal life everything is going you know okay they're doing their thing turn into uh, a person that can go and rob, steal, 
You know, and where is it ever, ever acceptable to break into a building and steal televisions and food and fridges and, you know, just go completely mob-like and be able to do that? Where is that ever, ever, ever acceptable? It just isn't. And so for me, um, I don't want to live... I don't want to live in fear, number one. Number two, I don't want to live a lifestyle where, you know, a, my, a person near me could potentially become this kind of, you know, reactive, ugly, nasty force that goes and does ugly, you know, nasty, destructive things. I don't want that. And so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be putting a link on this, uh, on this uh, video, maybe a little bit later today, uh, if you wanted to go and uh, kind of check out what we're going to be doing. But you know what? I'm done. I am done with a cock. I'm done with the ugliness. I'm done with the unpredictability. I'm done with the violence. I'm done with the brainless, you know, these brainless acts of, you know, in my opinion, complete and utter ridiculous stupidity. I'm done with all of that. It's now time to take a decision to, uh, to, to put ourselves into a different uh, space of income and put ourselves in a different space of safety because uh, I had a lady contact me this morning and she said, Andrew, uh, we have to cancel our debit orders and our business and everything like that. Because, you know, the, the, the parents, are, they, they have a nursery, a nursery school. The parents are not allowing their kids to go to nursery school because they are in fear of this whole situation. Can you imagine that? That 50% of a business, 50% uh, of a business have canceled their contracts and saying, we'll rather let our kids stay at home. I mean, what kind of world are we living in here? What kind of uh, situation are we living in here? It's just not, it's not right, it's not fair, and it's stupid. And uh, we've got to take some evasive action. So check out the link. Check out uh, the concepts and ideas where we are going. Uh, and uh, let's, let's make some great, awesome changes that's going to keep us safe and uh, put us in a different sphere. Put us in a different, uh, a different space where we can walk freely and we can walk safely and we can build an entity or an outcome that is fantastic. So stay posted.